Good day everyone, it's me again, Teacher MD. Based on our learner's packet for quarter 3, week 7, the skill that you need to learn is how to critique a piece using the Marxist and feminist approaches. And that's what I am going to thoroughly discuss in this video. Are you ready? Writing a critique requires critical thinking. It centers on exercising a level of reflective, intelligent judgment on a variety of matter. Ito ay mapanimdim at matalinong paghusga, pagsusuri at pagpuna sa isang akda tulad ng kwento o tula. It's not about finding fault or blindly following or deciding. Hindi ito basta paghahanap ng mali o paglalatag ng puna. Kailangan mo munang unawain at pag-aralang mabuti ang ilang aspeto ng akda upang maging totoo at makabuluhan ang iyong pagsusuri. What does a critic do? It demonstrates a clear understanding of the material being critiqued, along with the author's purpose and meaning. Ipinapakita nito ang malinaw at lubos na pag-unawa sa isang material katulad ng tula o kwento. Next, it analyzes that material by dividing it into its main sections or approaching its aspects. Pinag-aaralan ang material sa pamamagitan ng paghimay o masusing pagtingin sa mga aspeto nito. Next, it defines and discusses the meaning and importance of each of these sections. Tinatalakay ang kahalagahan ng bawat bahagi ng isang akda. And it uses all of this information on an identified set of criteria to judge the worth or value of the material. Ginagamit ang lahat ng mga impormasyon sa bawat pamantayan upang husgahan ang halaga ng isang material. In the previous weeks, we've already talked about two approaches, the formalist approach and the moralist approach. Now, let us have the Marxist criticism and feminist criticism. Ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba ng dalawa? Marxist focuses on power struggles of the characters. Ito ay nakatuon sa labanan sa kapangyarihan ng mga karakter sa isang akda. This concerns class differences, economic as well as the implications and complications of the capitalist system. Ipinapakita din dito ang kaibahan ng estado ng buhay ng mga karakter gayon din ang kapitalismo. This is evident in stories wherein there are rich people who are in control of the poor. Pwede din ang mga kwento na nagpapakita kung paano ang mayayaman ay mas nagiging mayaman pa at ang mga mahihirap ay mas lalong naghihirap. Marxist critics are also interested in how the lower or working classes are oppressed in everyday life and in literature. Sinusuri din dito ang mga pang-aaping ginagawa sa mga manggagawa o sa mga nasa mababang antas ng lipunan sa akdaman o sa pang-araw-araw. For an instance, the privileges that the rich get as well as the hardships and sufferings of the poor are very evident in the movie entitled Snowpiercer. Ang pagpapakita ng konsepto ng hindi pantay na pagtrato sa mayaman at mahirap, ang konsepto ng revolusyon o pag-aaklas, ang paggamit sa mga mahihirap na kabataan upang magtrabaho, at paglalahad ng kwento sa pananaw ng api ang ilan sa mga katangian ng Marxismo. Another example is the story of Oliver Twist. The writer showed how a person or people who belong in upper class treat those in lower class. In the story, children like Oliver were forced to work and were given insufficient food, low salary, and bad shelter condition. Ang kanilang estado sa buhay ay naging dahilan upang sila ay tratuhin ng hindi kaaya-aya ng nakatataas. What's good about looking into Marx's perspectives is that people may see and understand the existing social issues in a particular place through literature. Sa pagsusuri gamit ang approach na ito, ay mas maaari nating maunawaan o maresolba ang mga problemang kinakaharap ng ating lipunan. 
Now, let us talk about the feminist approach or feminism. Feminist focuses on the gender relationships of characters in the story o kung paano ba ang relasyon o pagtrato ng mga karakter sa isa't isa, lalo tigit ng karakter na lalaki sa karakter na babae. It advocates gender equality especially towards women. Isinusulong o tinatalakay dito ang pagkakapantay-pantay o ang pantay na pagtingin sa mga kababaihan. It also examines how some aspects of our culture are inherently patriarchal or male-dominated. Isinusuri din dito ang mga kulturang patriarchal o yung mga kulturang pinamumunuan o naimpluwensyahan ng mga lalaki. Some stories or films that we may analyze using the feminist approach are Mulan, Wonder Woman, and Moana. Evidently, mga babae ang bida sa mga kwentong aking nabanggit. Their characters show that women can be strong and they can achieve something regardless of their gender. To sum it up, here are some questions that one may consider in using either Marxist or feminist approach. Like, what is the social class of the author? Pwede mong tingnan kung saan antas ba na bibilang ang may akda. So, lower class, middle class, or upper class? Another, whom does it benefit if the work is eff- or effort is accepted, successful, or believed? And which class does the work claim to represent? Para saan o kanino ba pabor ang akda? Sa mayayaman o mahihirap? Next, what values does it reinforce? What values does it subvert? What conflict can be seen between the values the work champions and those it portrays? Anong mga paniniwala ba ang nais alisin o nais palakasin ng akda? And finally, we have what social classes do the characters represent? And how do characters from different classes interact or conflict? Paano ba ang pagtrato sa bawat isa ng mga karakter na nabibilang sa magkakaibang antas ng lipunan? Meanwhile, in feminist approach, you may focus on information like, Is the author male or female? Anong kasarian ng sumulat ng akda? Or is the text narrated by a male or female? Anong kasarian ng naglahad ng kwento? What types of roles do women have in the text? Are the female characters the protagonist or sec- secondary and minor characters? Gumanap ba bilang bida ang mga babaeng karakter? Do any stereotypical characterizations of women appear? May stereotyping bang naganap? Halimbawa, pinakita ba sa kwento na mahina ang karakter ng babae ayon sa tingin ng iba? And, how does the author's culture influence his or her attitude? What are the attitudes of male characters towards the female characters? Paano ang pagtrato ng lalaking karakter sa mga babaeng karakter? Note that the key word for feminist approach is gender or genders, while the key word for a Marxist approach is social class or social classes. Before we end, let us have a short exit quiz to determine if the criticism or approach being described is Marxist approach or Marxism or feminist approach or feminism. Are you ready? Number one, it focuses on the gender relationships of characters in the story. Yes, the answer is feminism or feminist approach because of the phrase gender relationships. Number two, this concerns class differences, economic as well as the implications and complications of the capitalist system. All right, the answer is Marxist approach or Marxism. Number three, it focuses on power struggles of the characters.
That's right. The answer is Marxist approach or Marxism because of the phrase power struggles. Just like in number two, there is the phrase class differences and the term capitalist system. Number four, question like, are the female characters protagonists or main characters or not? Can be used in this approach. All right, so the answer is feminist approach or feminism. And lastly, it focuses on the oppression experienced by the working class. Okay, so the answer is Marxist approach or Marxism because of the word oppression and the term working class. Good job! I think you are now ready to do your other tasks. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Till next time!